create an illustration with curvilinear perspective, watch the full tutorial video to master the nuances of this technique and apply them effectively. The following resources and materials may be necessary is color palette, brushes info, and likely sketch. So check out description below. Let's dive in. Select curvilinear perspective. Don't reposition it and lock its position. Now add simple lines for placement of objects. Reduce opacity of this layer. And add a layer. Turn off snap. Now add in rough detail of your drawing. Don't worry if you make mistake. It will be fixed later on. Just focus on simple structure, don't complicate it. Hide lower layer, reduce opacity of upper layer, and add a layer. Now add more detail to this and fix up some mistakes. Now refine outline. And it's done. Click on the three dots and then go to settings, and then go to color palette, and select this color palette. Then go back. Add a layer and arrange it below. 
After that select the fill tool. And then pinch the color palette with the two fingers and drag it outward then select color and fill the color. After it add one more layer. Select lines guide. Add in path using line guide. After it lock the path. And color along the path. After it change color to darker and add it. Change the color in between these shades and add colors. Make color darker and add this. I am actually trying to create monotone of background color to make it look more natural. So choose the colors between these shades of brown. Add a layer and change its blending mode to multiply. Select dark color. Add an outline. Add an outline while snap is on. This is help you achieve quicker and more precise outline. You may turn off snaps for some parts. Add a layer and select skin color. Add in color to neck. Add one more layer and select color. Then add in kinda green color to shirt. Add one more layer. Now select this time kind of blue color and add this color. Now again select the skin color and add this color to the face. Add one more layer, select color for hairs, and add in this color to hairs. Add this same color to the locket of this woman. Now select black color and add this black color to bag of woman. Now add one more layer. 
The purpose of adding colors on different layer is pretty simple, layer on. It will be easy to add shadows or lights to respective part by selecting them or masking. Add one more layer and then select a skin color, and then add this color to hand of women. Add one more layer. Now add outline to women using concept pencil. I am using path of line guide for some parts, which I find difficult to outline in one go and more precisely. Go to hand layer, select color. Lower opacity of cat layer, then go back to upper layer. Add in colors to eyes.
Add in color to color. Add in color to mouth. Go to Outline Layer. Add outline to cat's facial features. Add one more layer. Now add blush or dark color than skin to face using soft airbrush. Erase extra color. Add in design to shirt. Now merge this layer with its lower layer. Go to background layer. Select invert selection. Add a layer, change its blending mode to linear dodge. Make the color lighter. Add in this color. Now select soft airbrush of large size. Add shades using this brush. Duplicate this layer. Go to filters. Select Blur Filter and apply this to full. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Overlay. Add one more layer and change its blending mode to Multiply. Now go to Overlay Layer. Add Radiant Light to Background.
Now go to multiply layer. Add shadows. Now merge background layers. And add a layer above all. Add light to character. Duplicate this layer. Go to Filters. Apply Blur Filter. Change its Blending Mode to Linear Light. Now select Blender, Hunter from Legacy Folder. Adjust its settings. Now blend some of the light. Erase extra light. Add mustaches. Go to cat layer. Add in color to lips. Add one more layer. Change its blending mode to multiply. Arrange it below two blending mode layers. Add shadows. Select hand layer, now to go multiply layer. Add shadows. Select face layer, now go to multiply layer. Add shadows. Now select green part layer, and go to multiply layer. Select respective colors and add in shadows. Go to Linear Dodge layer. Now to Linear Light layer. And it's done now.